as my name's Oscar Gamboa. Um, I'm the MD and producer for Upper Room. Um, I'm one of the producers. We all we kind of collaborate all together. It's kind of cool. Um, and I just want I get so many questions about my life setup that I use live. Um, and I just want to give you guys a quick rundown for it. Also, if you're interested in buying this setup, you can message me on Facebook, DM me on Instagram, um, and we can talk. Uh, so I have buses. Also, before I start, I use a Nano Control 2 to control all of this. So whenever whenever I play live, whenever I play live, I rarely ever touch the computer. Uh, just because it it, it kind of loses the purpose. It feels it feels like I'm actually playing something. Um, so here it is. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi. So um, so I have four buses. I have pianos. The name is the pianos. Pads, synths, and tracks. And I have it assigned to my first fader in the control, second fader, third fader, fourth fader. Um, so really, I only have to worry about one fader. Like if the pads are too hot or too soft, I can assign it. And I assign the nano control to stop right at zero. So it never, it never actually peaks. Um, and then from there, I have all these pianos, real piano soft, upright, celeste, felt, dulcimer, and Rhodes. It all go into here, and it's all, and I have right here audio two. I can change it to one and two, three and four, however I want to route it. Um, so let me show you guys. And then in my nano control, you know how you have um, eight different S's, M's, and R's buttons? So my M's, all those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all those, I have eight piano patches that I can use. Um, and then I can activate them accordingly, turns on, turns off. Here's a real piano that I have. You saw, so the audio comes from here, goes to here. And then in here, the cool thing is, I can route like th like reverbs, auto filter, and delays accordingly. So let me play it again. Real piano. And then the knobs, I have the sign as knob one on my nano control, knob two, and knob three. So here's the reverb. I can add as much as I want. All on the fly. And then I have my auto filter. my ping pong delay and I can add as much as you know accordingly or none and then this is utility I usually have to gain it down so it doesn't peak and within the patches the first one's a real piano from reason so I, I reroute I route reason to Ableton I only have a couple patches and then I have Soft piano. It's a vicious keys. And then I have an upright. It's like a felt upright. It's, it's from Una Corda. It's the last I use for Holy Spirit. And then I can like darken it if I want to. Add reverbs if I want to. It's a lot of fun, especially playing live. I have this uh, felt piano from, um, it's from Spitfire Labs. It's actually a really cool trick. It's a free plugin and I absolutely love it. Let me play it real quick for you guys. Absolutely love it. And then I have a dulcimer from Reason. I love it. I love um, layering the real piano and the dulcimer together. Sounds really big, and then you can add, even add delay 
if you want to. A little swell, let me speed it up a little bit. I think it's like, they use this for Latin land. It's really cool. And then I have this Rhodes. I believe it's a Scarby native instruments i've had it forever yes yeah, scarby mark one um absolutely love it especially if you low uh, if you add a filter and some reverb i use it a whole lot and i usually love to combine it with my soft piano Keyscape, and you have a Rhodes that you love, you can just replace this, uh, the VST with Keyscape, and it sounds great. That's pretty much all I have for my pianos. I love how simple it is, but yet I have um, up to eight options of piano sounds that I have. Now going with my pads, same concept. So I have this labeled, all the white are pianos. All like the orange is pads. And this is like my main pad that I use. It's from Omnisphere. It's real bright. I have a low pass filter as well. In the actual, um, in the bus in itself. So I can use, I can actually use one, <coughs> sorry about that. I can only use one, um, I only need one knob to filter up and filter down my pads. So here's my, uh, Next one that I have is this, like this darker pad. Make you filter up, filter down. I love it. It's really awesome for like quiet moments. Have a dark Juno pad. This like really really bright pad, you hear it. I don't use it that much. I just like having it just in case. Has really strong attack. Have a dark another dark Juno. Because the harder you play, the brighter it is. And I have this Profit Soft Pad. I love it for, especially for the low end. Um, this is why I love Ableton. So in my bus section, I have a side chain compressor. Right here, this green thing, there's a loop. I have, so let me play it. If I, I have it muted, if you unmute it, just a kick over and over and over again. And I've compressed it to my pad section so I can slide it in. I have the dry, I have the, uh, the mix right here. I can put zero to hundred, and it actually and it actually side chains the pad to to the kick, which is perf perfectly aligned to the click. And I absolutely love it. Instead of having to play it perfect, it's always going to be perfect. I'll show you guys. I'll play the click, and I will side chain the first patch. 
This is regular, and then I'll side chain it so you can see it. And then I also have this almost uh, like this pulse, which I'll play this for you guys as well. I'll take out the side chain compression. And I love mixing both of them. Um, next section so I have my S the top part which is like synths and other stuff so I have this like poly trance and I also have this low pass filter I don't use that one that much if I ever play that song I use it um, and then I've replicated Be Throne. I'll show you guys as well. Um, I have this patch right here. It's all on the sphere. It's a multi. And then I have this seagull patch from Reason. And I'll play it for you guys. Super identical, I love it. Um, again, it's super cool because fader one, fader two, fader three, and then I have my reverb, knob one, knob two, knob three, and then knob four is my auto filter. Knob five is my um, it's I use auto pan for the for the pulsing pad. Knob six is my um the auto filter for all the synths. I'll show you guys tracks in a bit. And then uh, fader eight is what activates the side chain compression. Side chain compression, sorry. Um, I don't have a video, I'm not I don't I'm not super high tech right now. But if you have any questions you can ask me, I'll I'll answer back. <coughs> and then I have my um the track section. So like I'll have surrender right here. I always activate the click first, and then I use my nano control to go up and down accordingly. And so I activate it, press play, play for the intro. Intro, and it two, plays. three, four. And let's say you're, you feel sporadic. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I have it all assigned accordingly um, to where I want it to go. So like right down here, start time, end time. I make sure I warp it. I love com complex. Complex Pro works as well too. You can also pitch it if you want, if you want to do a nail version. Um, and it's super cool. Like what you can repeat things on the fly. I don't it like and the cool thing is you can repeat it once you just press play and once it's done repeating you can repeat it as many times as you want or you can just let it play out and it'll be it'll go back to the regular roadmap um, yeah it's pretty much my setup super simple 
Um, again, if you're interested in buying this template, um, DM me. We can talk. Message me. Hopefully it's helpful. So in my nano control, last thing, um, I turn off click, turn on click right here. It's a, uh, and then I can press play. Stop it. I can press play and just turn off the click and turn it back on. I can template tap by, s by clicking set. If I speed it up, slow it down. Um, and then the cycle button on my nano control is pretty cool. Um, I'll show you. So I use it a whole lot. So I, you can actually create a drone pad. I have the filter all the way down. And then when I click cycle, it's assigned to this reverb and it freezes it. And then it just creates a nice drone pad that lasts forever. And it, it actually doesn't use barely any CPU, so it's pretty cool. And then it's on, you can turn it off. There it is. Um, it's super cool, super cool setup. Um, uh, yeah, and if you want the template, I'll include the uh, nano, my nano control settings. So I'll give you, I'll export that as well. And yeah, hopefully this makes sense. If you have questions, let me know.